People have come from all four corners of the country up Eagles Rock for the final swan song of Northern Ireland's most beloved music festival. My name's Peter Cinnamon. I'm here for coreblossom.com at Glasgowbury 2013. This year, the festival is bigger than ever, expanding to two days of music. Here on the Friday evening, it is an absolute scorcher with temperatures reaching over 30 degrees. It is that hot that the road beneath us is melting. It is literally melting and coming up with the tires. So with the heat like this and no rain uh, for the days beforehand, uh, I decided to bring welly boots. Better safe than sorry, I guess. Hi, I'm Adam from Corin. I'm Art from Katie. And I'm Liam from Armagh. I'm Chris from McBride, I'm from Belfast. He's now in. That's your machine. Peter Devine from Mr. Van. My name's uh, Marcus Hoare, uh, I'm uh, slightly outside uh, Londonderry. My name's Luke and I'm from Armagh. And I'm Gareth from Middletown. We were able to get the tent up very quickly, thought I'd be spending hours getting that and didn't miss any of the artists, but thankfully got up quickly, was able to get to the main stage, get to see some of the great acts we'll have here at Glasgowbury this year. We arrived yesterday at about two or three, just came down, shuttle bus up here, set the tents up. Last night we arrived here quite early. Um, Great scenery, great view. Yeah. Hi, we arrived about 3 o'clock yesterday, came up this mountain, absolutely scorching heat. Tell me about, tell me about the heat, how's that affected you? Uh, I kind of felt as if I had got sunstroke earlier on and had to sleep for about an hour and then go back <laughs> on it, but it's been great man, it's been great. I really don't feel well, I'm really bad at dealing with heat and I really do want to go home, but I just feel like I can't, I feel like I have this obligation. Heat was lots of sun cream, lots and lots of sun cream. Me, me and yourself, Factor 60, or is that just me? I don't even have any on at the minute because I poured my head like cold water all over my body. So I don't, I don't, I don't even know what I'm doing with my life right now. I'm just a mess of a person. Come on, Go. dance, dance, dance. Oh, oh I'm, I think I'm the worst. Uh, you know, like I've, I haven't seen anybody not with their tops off, as they say. No t-shirt. It's just, it's too warm for clothes. Like, you also haven't mentioned how many buttons Jimmy has open. Look at that. Well. This is the most buttons I've had closed, I think, all weekend. It ha it's actually just... It's, ha it's, it's been, it's like, you, who needs the temperature? All you need is to look at Jamie Nish and see how many buttons he has to judge the temperature. Even though at the minute they're complaining how hot it is, they do love it. You tell us this, this is my... See, it, it's about to go up one because it's getting, it's getting chilly. colder. So now, so that was what it was. Now, uh, I don't know, maybe chilly. 17 degrees? Yeah, 16 degrees? Yeah. Sort of. I think best, best tan of the weekend goes <laughs> this guy, this guy. Congratulations. It's it's like it's kind of spiritual that the weather's like this for the last one and it has been like this non-stop. You're just like there's some force at work here, Dermot would say himself, that there's something going on for sure. Sun's out, guns out. <laughs> Friday at Glasgowbury this year has been christened Derry Day and there is no band who encapsulates the spirit of the city than these two guys here. They are from Little Bear uh, and you're playing the festival for the first time this year? Yes, yeah it's a great festival, we've been very, very excited to play. We don't think there's been a band who has had a better 2013 than you guys. I'm sure you guys are just amazed by how well it's gone. Yes, we're truly, truly grateful. A lot of things are coming our way and we're grasping it with firm hands and Hopefully this one continues. It's nice um, when you know you've been putting on a bit of a uh, hard run of work and stuff. You see, and a wee bit of luck comes your way, and um, that happened for us this year. And we've kind of, you know, we've not sat back and rested on it. We've just kind of went head first, straight in for it, and like we've been really been enjoying it. Like so, it's been brilliant. You know? How much do you think the city of culture has really had an impact on the city, especially musically? I think uh, city of culture is fantastic for music musicians and, and music and bringing the people the city because Derry is a very musical city anyway and so city of culture are just highlighting that and bringing people in to see that 
it's phenomenal you know, for us anyway. It's the city of culture, we've done a lot. So like a couple of times this year already, like with all our voices, trail and stuff, there's just been, and even Music City, there's been moments where the entire city just seemed to be walking about smiling and just enjoying everything, you know, and it's, it's created a great buzz around the town as well. And, and that for one of the song that we both buzzed off ourselves, like, so it's been great. Like. Last night it had to be Little Bear, Little Bear just on fire. It's the first time seeing them, but there's a massive crowd. They've got a great variety of songs, and the crowd were absolutely loved them. They were singing along, so there seems to be a, a lot of great, great love for the band, even in this early stage. Jet Plane Landing, first time I've seen them, they're very good too. Probably uh, a new one is probably seeing Jet Plane Landing last night. Um, I'd never seen them before and it's almost like they've been legends for a while for me because like Ewan's really into them and Niall's always really into them as well. So to finally see them was like uh, and hear them properly was like a really big moment for me. They are the undisputed DIY kings of Northern Ireland. I am with Andrew Ferris, the lead singer of Jet Plane Landing, who are set to make their triumphant return here at Glasgowbury. How are you? Brilliant. It's great to be here, as the cliche says. No, it's going to be good tonight. Has it been about a, a few months in working, sort of this set tonight? Um, yeah, I mean, uh, we're going to play songs from all our records tonight, and it's I mean, it's hard whenever you've made a new record. Our new album's called Don't Try. Uh, you want to play as much from that as possible, but I think whenever you come to a place like Glasgowbury and the audience that we're going to have tonight, we just want to make sure everyone has a really good time. So it's going to be a lot of familiar songs in the set. The thing about Jet Plane Landing, we always say it's not our band, it's your band, so it'll be a really participatory experience. So if you don't know the words to the choruses by the start of the song, you're going to know them by the end. Um, it was kind of nice to have like a, a legendary moment or like something memorable at the last one, rather yeah. than like at the first one, you know, so that was pretty sweet. Of course, you guys are playing at now with Derry Day, which is the Friday, uh, and of course you're playing with so many other Derry bands. What's that like now that the festival's grown to two days? I think more to say, how has Derry changed? You know, over the last ten years, uh, I've been playing in bands from Derry and in the environ of Derry for 15 years, and I think, without a doubt, and it's not overstating it, the selection of bands that we have in Derry across all genres at the minute is just unreal. Apart from anything that Cahar has anything to do with Cahar taught me guitar lessons. Uh, and uh, I'm better than him now, like. Unbelievable. Jack playing Lannan Bay. Words, that can't, words can't really describe it, like it was just insane. Until we watched him before, just take the roof off, like. Talking about the set and because it's Glasgow Bury and because there would be so many people that wanted to kind of hear specific tracks that you know aren't on the new record, we kind of figured out a set that was a mixture of more old sort of tunes than kind of of the newer record. We just wanted to kind of do a set like a festival set, you know, just kind of tunes that people want to hear and that'll kind of like go down well with the crowd. So I think we kind of I think we pulled it off okay in the, in the end. Last night, when I saw what you're playing, I was just like crowd surfing, and I didn't mean to, but I was crowd surfing for ages. I just was like, this is like game full circle, I'm really happy now. Yeah. <laughs> the first year we played was 2007. It was unreal experience for us to be invited to, to be a part of the whole Glasgowbury family. We played Spurs with Rock, came back 2008, and we were kind of in mid-afternoon on the main stage. And then 2009 we were asked to headline on the main stage, and it was unbelievable experience and I think virtually everybody who was at the festival was watching us and that's you know for a band from Ireland from the north of Ireland that's kind of unbelievable it's, I can't even put it in words properly it's such an important part of the music festival calendar but unfortunately now it's the, the last one so It's Saturday morning here at Glasgow Bury, which means all six stages are ready and open for business. With a few weary heads floating around the campsite after a raucous first evening, we leave it up to the Samba Band to kick things off.
This year, Core Blossom ran a competition with one of the main prizes playing a set at this very festival. With minutes before they head on the stage, we are joined by the winners, Strabans, those ghosts. How are you feeling, lads? Are you nervous? I think it would be it's normal to get nervous. Like if you didn't like, get nervous before something like this here, there'd be something wrong with you, you would be immortal. How much does a festival like this mean to you guys as music fans and now a band? It means everything and it, and it has done for so many years. It's like we were all devastated whenever we got the news that this would be the last festival. But I mean, and I'm speaking probably on behalf of most fans about and anybody that's ever been to the festival as well. We just want to thank Glasgowbury and Patty and Stella and everybody for just putting us on and giving bands and just people an opportunity to come and enjoy it. So it just means a lot and it's going to be missed. Starting a band's never easy, and just to have someone like Cord Blossom really backing us and really helping us, like he's been incredible. Honestly, like we, we couldn't have done it, we couldn't be here without you for a start. So thanks a million. We can't say it enough. Almost a third of the bill are brand new bands like yourself playing for the first time. That's that's brilliant, and it's a testament to just how the music scene's really becoming resurgent in Northern Ireland. Because well, I don't know about everywhere, but Straban in particular, they go through a bit of a lull for a, a few years and. I mean, there's so many bands coming through, even in our town. It's just amazing. Just keep it going. Give kids guitars and get them on the bands. Get them out there. You know what I mean? This is great. They are just off stage, and we could be not more proud. Lads, how was that? Unbelievable. <laughs> best gig of my life, hands down. Hands down, best gig of my life. It sounded really big, and people were really into it too. Mm. I, I was, to be honest, like, whenever we started, it was kind of yourselves and kind of a lot of our friends and people from Straban who seen us before. By like the third song, we looked up and it was like tent was like kind of a third full. Looked up again, it was almost full by the end of the set. It was just packed. And it was great just to look up and see so many people and everyone getting on it and everyone's reaction. Can't thank them enough. Amazing. Everyone's stoked to be here. I have not seen any trouble whatsoever. Everyone's just happy and you can go around and speak to anyone. Sweet. The music, you've the company, you've the crack, you socialise with people. And what the greatest thing about young people, you bump into anyone. And you turn around and you chat away to you as if you knew them all in their lives. You're not recording the story. We've been to loads and loads of bands, we've been soaking up the vibes and the sun, and it's been brilliant. There's a lot of activity happening, it's very lively. It's a nice place, isn't it? Been up this mountain. The atmosphere is The crack is on, really. The atmosphere of an event is very difficult to get right, and the atmosphere here is lovely. I brought my five year old son here today, and I'm quite happy for him to wander around and talk to people and do his thing. That's quite unique. An early evening breeze has sort of come across the mountain as we sort of edge towards. Uh, the big hitters, and we have one of them here who are playing on the main stage with an axis of. You're on a pretty, uh, pretty nice little bit before the answer, like three vans with small town, like you, one of the conquerors, uh, La Farce. So that's a lot of riffs going on there. That's going to be riff central, the last sort of section of the, the evening, and I think we got a really good spot because I think that to me it seems like a lot of people have been out all day and then they went back to the campsite and had to chill out for a bit and now they're coming back out for their kind of evening session so we're like the band that will maybe kick that off for some people so like yeah we're dead excited and um, the party will be had it's different from where maybe our band comes from in some ways but there's such a good spirit about like a rural festival like this um, so it's, it's very important to us and coming up here and doing this festival and even just doing things with the Glasgow people like the G sessions and stuff it's just like an attitude that we just are so in tune with uh, feel so akin to the people up here and all the people that come and enjoy this are exactly the same so it's like yeah this is really important and it's gonna be such a send-off tonight and it's sad to see it go but yeah as everyone keeps saying it's all about the future you know Everybody elevates their game when they come here to play and More Than Conquerors are I think one of the tightest unreal bands I've ever seen. We've, we've toured a lot, we've seen a lot of bands. More Than Conquerors are very, very special. Fresh off the main stage, how do you feel? Great, sweaty. Yeah, that's the, that's the first thing when you feel really sweaty. Really sweaty. No, it was great. It was such a good, such a good weather this weekend that I couldn't really go far wrong, you know. What was going through your mind when you're jumping off the stage into the crowd? Good. It was uh, it's good fun just seeing lots of 
this is going past you. And, yeah, it was great. How did you feel beforehand? Because there was a lot of talk that for such a young band, you'd sort of been making their way up the bill. This was uh, a big performance from his year, you know, your third from the top. How were you feeling? Were you nervous, excited? I was a lot more nervous than I've ever been for Glasgow Road, for sure. It's the, it's the big stage that kind of, you get, um, you get to learn when you're up there. For the past three years we've done it, I've get, you kind of, you know how to, to interact with the crowd and, because we're used to playing small venues inside too. So, uh, yeah, it really helped a lot, and just the people and the atmosphere, everything is just—it's incredible, and it really helps you grow as a band and even as people too. There's a real credibility to this festival, especially like out of a lot of other festivals, um, that it gives you something to aim for. Like you start your band, you start doing shows, and you've got like that that like stepping stone to get to, and then every year you can you know try and be further up the bill. So it gives you something to aim for, which if you don't have as a band, you kind of like, get easily stop doing it, you know. I think maybe there's there is a somberness a little bit about the weekend but I think people are just like we've got these X amount of hours left let's just enjoy it have an absolute blast and then we can be sad you know tomorrow but we can also just be like kind of proud that it was so good. It's gonna be sad to see this place empty. I said I wouldn't cry and I didn't. So thank you very much. Thank you to Town. Thank you to everybody for wherever you're from. You've done a great thing. We love you all. Safe home. God bless. Have a great time. Thank you very much. There's a, there's a movement that's happening. You, at the top of the interview, you mentioned about DIY Kings. I, I, I think that we aped and copied a lot of bands that went before us. And what you're seeing now is people taking that, like Axis of and So I Watch You from Afar, More Than Conquerors, and going ripping it up all the way through Europe and doing what we did then 10 years ago, but amplifying it. And it's just really exciting. And it's great to be a fan of one of those bands right now because you know who knows where they're going to take you. Northern Ireland and Belfast and Derry probably has some of the best music out of any of the cities in the UK. I was going to just have this one day where everyone can go and see what we have to offer. The solidarity goes a long way, man. We're all going to be together and enjoy it. It's going to be great. It's been vital to music since day one. Glasgow is always going to leave, if you call it a legacy, of bands being able to have an outlet to work from a stage like this to give them a real professional outlook and something to work from and to perform on. Not just for the bands, but people working backstage and crew and sound people. It's been spread out beyond that as well, you know. This really is an event for the people who work there, for the people who attend and the people who play. You know, everyone is in it together. Like. Absolutely, yeah. This festival's been sort of the thing that happens in Northern Ireland each year that everyone's all like, yeah, it wasn't about you know, all local bands go and play and everyone's in great spirits up a mountain. I know. Um, well, you can't bit it, like, and it's really sad that it's the last one, but hopefully great style now. Yeah, great style. <laughs> A lot of people say it, but not a lot of people mean it. But you stand here on one of the greatest days that Northern Ireland's seen the last 50 years. And now you're going to have one of the best weekends of your life. So we're going to do this one more time. We're going to take it down. We're gonna bring it back up, and then we're gone. Right out here. I kneel and take a bullet to the back kid, but would it stick the disenfranchised to the masses? I kneel and take a bullet to the back kid, but would it stick the disenfranchised to the mass? Bring it down. I kneel and take a bullet to the back kid, would it stick the disenfranchised to the masses? I kneel and take a bullet to the back kid. 
Stitch of this and freedom. Die.